guys, Jordan Gates here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited because we have a really cool robot video. Hi, thank you. And we have Jeff here, or do you like Jeffrey better? I answered a whole lot less, so Jeff, okay. Jeff Jeffrey's Jeff, good. Okay, Jeff Jeffrey is here, and he is going to show us an awesome demo. Would you please introduce yourself? Absolutely. My name is Jeffrey Daughter, and I'm with Southwestern PTS. I'm our director of customer solutions. What we do is a bunch of engineered solutions, whether that's automation, robotics, conveyors, different lines. We also specialize in assembly tooling and to what we're looking at today okay. with our para AI, our cobots, yep. and also industrial robots all working together on like a two by two top. So see some complex vision, bin picking, sorting in reality, placement, the mm -hmm. palletizing, yeah. and then also finishing out the line. Yeah. So it's a pretty interesting demo that we have today. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys an up close view just because I want you to see the best of it. It's awesome, like he said, it's only on a two by two. It's a seamless transition from one picking to the other. So we're gonna show you that now. So here we have the Apera AI. It's a 3D, 4D vision bin picking system that has the ability to sort, pick, palletize. We can also pick parts up in this orientation, change it. What it's doing is it's it's actually getting all of its coordinates from the base of the robot. Wow. And from there, if you look over at the screen after you see this the placement of at the end, mm -hmm. what we're doing is we're taking a CAD drawing of this part here. We're taking a CAD drawing and you can see it on the computer screen that we're gonna to go to next, you can see how complex it's going to be in a bin of random orientations. Yeah, absolutely. So with taking a CAD file, if we look at the computer screen over here, we're going to actually find every pick point that's good, acceptable, and it's going to do that. And it can do it in less than 0.3 milliseconds or probably half a second is probably the target. Mm -hmm. And then from there on the right side of the screen, we're looking more at like parameters okay. of where the robot is. Yeah. Because for the most part, when you're doing these operations, they're around other operators or they're around other machinery. It makes it a little more advanced. So like you can see, we have a poll here for the trade show demo. Yeah. Without that there, it can change the orientation of the end of arm tooling. Wow. And it can calculate where it needs to be and have a better pick. Oh my goodness. But with the parameters, even as tight as we are here, mm -hmm. with the front, with the safety zone here, the, the camera pole here, you can only have so many orientations that the end of arm tooling can calculate. Yeah. So naturally you're going to have less good picks. But even in this demo, we've been super successful at finding extremely good picks. Yeah, no, this is so cool. And then I love how it's just so seamless. So are you guys the ones integrating this part here where it's going back and forth or is that a different company? So we also, no, we also have low cost automation solutions that we have, that we can provide to teams. We can okay. do it through components. We can do it through automation. It's whatever level that we find that our customer has, yeah, that's where size. we're able to that's where we're actually able to help them because yeah. it doesn't have to be a full line in order to be successful automation. That's so cool. So it's pretty cool to see that capability now where you're not having to go on like McMaster car or Amazon yeah. to find these cheap components. We have cost effective engineered components that work well together. This is so cool. And I think um, so the bin picking abilities. I mean, it's, it's amazing to see where AI has taken us. It's not just cameras. Yeah. You're looking at a three-dimensional object. You tell me without picking up sheets of metal or something, what's what lays flat? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Incredibly awkward part to pick yeah. from a random orientation. Yeah. So being able to take the power of a para and put it into the ability of telling the robot where all the coordinates are based on an image. That's insane. People. And we're, we're not replacing people. No. What we're doing is we're taking the redundant task and giving it to something like a robot because the robot's capable of doing it all day, every day. It doesn't have sick days, doesn't need time off, doesn't care about weekends. But now you can take the skilled people you have and have them do something a little more complex other than just moving parts. Now, instead of awesome. being an operator, they're now a supervisor. Absolutely. They're a, they're a cell supervisor. Yeah, someone has to supervise the robots, you know? Absolutely. <laughs> and so now you're taking, you're taking a job that is absolutely mundane and repetitive and boring. And now you're giving them that opportunity to say, I work this cell. Yeah. I control these four machines. 
they have a sense of pride that at the end of the day, I ran four machines and I had quadrupled the throughput yeah. that we would normally have. Yeah. I mean, that's an incredible way to use a para finish. Where are you guys based out of? So we're based out of Coppell, Texas. Okay, cool. We have an office in Coppell, Dallas, Fort Worth area, okay. and also San Antonio. Wonderful. So, I mean, we're able to travel wherever we need to for our customer base. Right. Well, guys, don't worry. We're going to put all of their information below. So if this is a solution you're interested in learning more about, you're going to be able to find them. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon.